and division on opening night of the DNC. Bernie Sanders and his supporters trying to turn the convention around. First Lady Michelle Obama rallying behind Hillary Clinton, giving an inspiring speech that could help unify the party. And Elizabeth Warren taking on Trump for harsh words for the Republican candidate. The first night of the convention ended with some of the party's heavyweights taking the stage. But this historic event, which will nominate a woman for president, opened with distractions and divisions. Let's get to Liam Martin, who's live in Philadelphia. Liam? Paul and David, earlier tonight, the DNC had to offer Bernie Sanders a sincere apology for the, quote, inexcusable remarks in those leaked emails that created such controversy this weekend. Tonight, Bernie Sanders arrived at thunderous applause here, and Hillary Clinton, given that controversy, really needed an unequivocal endorsement from him, and he delivered exactly that. A dramatic start to the Democratic National Convention. A call to order after a day of disorder. Outrage in the wake of a hacking scandal that showed emails within the party favoring Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders in the primaries. Together, my friends, we have begun a political revolution to transform America. And that revolution, our revolution, continues. Bernie, Bernie. Hours before Sanders' address delegates and the DNC apology, hundreds of his supporters marched through the streets of Philadelphia in blazing heat, protesting against what they call a rigged system. Police took dozens into custody. Any objective observer will conclude that based on her ideas and her leadership, Hillary Clinton must become the next president of the United States. The theme of the first night, ironically, united together, featuring a primetime role from First Lady Michelle Obama. Only one person who I believe is truly qualified to be president of the United States, and that is our friend Hillary Clinton. At the convention, Massachusetts taking center stage on the national stage. And I stand as a living example of Hillary Clinton's vision for an America where everyone gets a fair shot and a second chance to achieve their dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you your senator, my senator, our senator, Senator Elizabeth Warren. Senator Elizabeth Warren with the night's keynote address and leading the Democratic charge to defeat Donald Trump. Trump thinks he can win votes by fanning the flames of fear and hatred, by turning neighbor against neighbor, by persuading you that the real problem in America is your fellow Americans, people who don't look like you or don't talk like you or don't worship like you. He even picked a vice president famous for trying to make it legal to openly discriminate against gays and lesbians. That's Donald Trump's America. Well, Sanders thanked his supporters here tonight. He said he does want them to voice their votes for him tomorrow during the official roll call. But he said ultimately when Hillary Clinton gets over that threshold tomorrow and becomes the first female nominee, he is expecting them to get behind her. Paula? And it seemed electric there in the hall, Liam, especially when Michelle Obama came to the stage. Well, Paula, for the first part of the night, the Sanders camp and the Clinton camp were kind of going back and forth at each other, booing, uh, trying to be louder than the other. But when Michelle Obama took this stage and gave her endorsement of Hillary Clinton, you could hear uh, some of the Sanders supporters starting to boo her a little bit when she said that she wants Hillary Clinton as president. And people quickly quieted her down. And then it became electrifying. That sort of set the stage for Bernie Sanders, who then gave that full-throated endorsement as well. As full-throated, certainly, as Hillary Clinton's camp could have expected and hoped for. Maybe tomorrow that helps them start to get back toward that unity. For now, live in Philadelphia, I'm Liam Martin, WBZ News. David and Paula, back to you. All right, Liam, thank you.